Hello again. This is part two. We just did fine motor fun with beads, buttons, bread tags, and straw pieces. Now we're going to add a little something into it. We can have lots of fine motor fun, but we can also have some brain fun too. We can do some matching, do patterns, we can do some sorting. There's all kinds of great language things involved with this, but I just like to basically think I'm playing even though it's probably good for me to do some of the activities because I can learn all sorts of the great things. So if we're going to do some sorting, let's take a look at bread tags. I have colors that I can sort. Sort them all in terms of all the white ones here that I have. I also I have my glow stick still in the way here. I have green. I could put them all in green. I have one red. I have one orange. I have one yellow, and oh, I do have a blue, and I have a purple, and a pink up here, and some other white ones. So if I had taken them all off of my tree that I just made, tree or flowering shrubbery or bush, depends on what you want it to be. I could count those too, but right now those guys are being used, so I don't have to use them in my sorting. So I can sort them in terms of their color. Then I can also sort them by their shape. Interesting. This one is much more square. The sides are all almost the same. This one has two long sides and two short sides. So I could put all of the ones that look like rectangles, too long, too short, together. This one too. I think this one's a square. This one's a rectangle. Okay, so we can put all the rectangles together and the squares together as well. Another way of sorting things. There, I got my tags all sorted. I have a whole bunch of them in here that are rectangles. And some are a little bigger than the other. You see the white one is bigger than that green one. And this little orange one is about the same size as that green one. If I line them up, look at that. They're almost exactly the same. The big difference is this little tiny bump on the edge. So those are all sorted. So I can play with bread tags that way. I can sort buttons as well. I happen to have these three here that have one hole in the side. So you can see that one hole. That's it. They hang very differently than other buttons. Then I have some that have four holes. One, two, three, four. And some just have two, two holes. So I could sort them according to how many holes they have. And I have to look in my pile here. I have to try to figure this out. Where are they? All the two hole ones come on over. And maybe all the four hole ones will come down over here. And I can sort them that way. I can also sort them by color because I happen to have red and I have green find all the green ones and put them together some of these are tiny to pick up and then I have blue so I can sort them by color I don't have very many that are different sizes but if I had some that were large and some that were small like these are like this is a difference in size, but that's about it. This is the biggest one I have, and everyone else is pretty close to the same size. They're pretty small. But that's another way that I can sort them. I can also do patterns. So I didn't do a pattern card for buttons, but I could. I could do red and then blue when I put them on my pipe cleaner, right? I could put the red one on. Then I can put the blue one on. If I'm going to do a two-part pattern, ABA, 
I would put the red one on next. So I have red, blue, red. What would come next? If you said blue, you are right. Now, see, blue, red, blue, red. Now what would come next? Yes, red. Red would come next. Now I'm getting that pattern. First this one, then the blue, then the red, then the blue, then the red. It's like they're taking turns, isn't it? That's an ABA pattern. I did a pattern card with for the beads. I have green and purple, green and purple. So I can just made it with markers. I have markers and I also did another one that you'll see in a minute that I used colored pencils. If I had crayons, I could have used crayons. I just don't happen to have any. And so to match this up, when I'm looking at it on this side, this is the left. When we read, we start reading over here and we go from the left to the right, at least in our language we do. So I can put the purple on top of the purple. Next is green. Next is purple. Then green. What do you think comes next? Purple. Then green again then purple. What's last? We have purple, green, purple, green, purple, green, purple, green. Nice job. Then you start from this side over here again and you put your beads on in this beautiful pattern you have created. Remember we talked the last time about one hand is the helper hand and one hand is the doing hand make our pattern and it is done there it is a B a B a B a B this is great pre-reading stuff getting us all ready for learning how to read next we have a three-part pattern. Oh my, getting a little ambitious there, Mrs. Prescott. <laughs> we have yellow straw, green, red. Yellow, green, red. Ooh, not ABA pattern. ABC, ABC. So let's match this one up. Let's see. Now I'm starting over here on my left and green and yellow and red and green this green one ran away and then yellow this one. all right here i go red green yellow red green and yellow now I could just keep on going, couldn't I? I don't have to stop just because the card stops. I can keep going. Start at the beginning. Red. And you know what? If I say it out loud, lots of times I remember it better. Next comes, what comes after the red? Green. And what is last on our little pattern friend here if we're looking? Red, green, yellow red, green, yellow, red, green, yellow. You got it. Good job. Now remember we could still put this on that glow stick if it was glowing a little bit, right? That'd be kind of fun too. And the last pattern I did actually is really a tricky one. I kind of went a little crazy here. I took my flowering bush or tree and I put a straw, then a bead, then a tag, then a button. I used all the fun things that I have here. So I have a straw, a bead, a tag, and a button. 
and I made it look like a really cool flowering tree or shrubbery or bush. It's springtime right now, so I'll bet we have a lot of flowers out in your yard. I know I do. And that, my friends, is how we can play with sorting and patterns and all kinds of fun stuff with our beads, buttons, bread tags, and straw pieces. Have fun.